Hey Gemini Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing amazing, enjoying your weekend. Let's get into this love reading. I feel like I want to talk about love today. So this will not be a general reading. This will be about love specifically. If you're not in a connection, I don't know, maybe you want to watch and see what could be coming toward you. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the roles. If you need to, could be past, present, or future energy I'm picking up on or someone else around you. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so some of you just off the top could be connected to an Aries, a Libra, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, or a Leo. Could be any sign. We have Aquarius here as well. Um, there's a love situation I feel like has potential. I feel like someone is thinking about making a move on you. This could be your energy. Flip it if you need to, y'all. But I'm going to read it from the perspective that this is them. Um, there's someone wanting to come towards you. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They're ready to kind of like, just go for it. They want to communicate how they feel. But something about the timing is off. So something is delayed. Is that someone finds you very attractive, radiant, and positive? So you get the best outcome. You have the sun card showing up here. And also the page of cups, which means that somebody could be about to reach out to you, express some really, you know, sweet, feelings for you. Somebody has a crush on you. They're infatuated with you. They're waiting on a sign. <laughs> yeah, they're waiting on a sign. Something about this feels like it's bad timing, but they want to rush in. Um, It says, I'm not convinced just yet. Please give me time. I have to be sure. They're carefully considering you. This could definitely be another air sign. So let's see what's going on here. Show me. This person is planning for the future with you. They feel like you two have or could have a promising connection, but they have to come out of their comfort zone. There could also be distance between you two. There's some kind of planning going on, though. They're at a crossroads for some reason. I don't know what's going on here yet. If you could read my mind, you'd understand why things are like this. I am so confused. I have no direction right now. My life is a mess. Okay, so they are at a crossroads. Um, we'll see if we can pick up on what exactly is going on. Um, they could be having financial issues, I just heard, or just things not going according to plans in their own life that has nothing to do with you, okay? We don't even sleep in the same bed anymore, okay? They have a karmic. They're detaching. It says detaching, should I stay or should I go? So they're trying to figure out how to come out of another connection, Gemini. Hmm. So they're not convinced maybe that they're done with this person just yet and they want to be fair. This is a person who's very honest. So they want to be fair. Delay is not denial. Be patient. It says, look, I'm not convinced. Please give me time. They're saying be patient. Some of you, this is a younger air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. It says delayed news and a need for patience. You stimulate this person mentally. They love your wit and humor. They're just cautious and taking their time. Not being impulsive, but they like you a lot. And they could be about to go forward. There could be some delayed communication finally coming in. Or they're thinking about it. They are thinking about it for sure. Pay attention to their patterns. Something's not adding up. Um, and so some of you don't know about this third party or this karmic or whomever this person is. They are married to, connected to. You may not be aware of this person. You may not even be aware that this person likes you. They could just be studying you and watching you. Some of you work with this person. Show me bad timing and delays. I messed up big time. Okay. that they mess up or, or it's just even about them i'm miserable without you okay so some of you were already dealing with this person you could be aware of this third party i used you to make someone else mad oh oh hmm this is a relationship a connection with someone who is unsure if they want to leave someone else they feel like they want to they plan to, but then they go back on it. They could have gotten involved with you before they were completely done with that person. Not even sure that they wanted to be done with that person. And maybe threw it in that other person's face. Well, I'm seeing Gemini. You know, they, they made this other person aware that you existed, but it's more so about ego than anything else. Not saying they don't care about you. I don't mean it that way. I just mean sometimes people do this. 
They know they're almost over another situation. They get involved in a third party situation and then they have the ex kind of still holding on and they're still holding on. So they have unfinished business with this ex. But you make them feel like they're on cloud nine. What's cloud nine? Very high standards. Hmm. This could be an air sign or earth sign. Okay, they love the way that you... This is crazy. You don't pay them any attention, Gemini. It says wanting the best for yourself and others. <laughs> Capricorn and Aquarius are here really strong, but it also could be Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, or Libra. It says either live up to their expectations or they're not interested. Very disciplined and fair person. That's you, Gemini. They see you as someone with very, with very high standards and that turns them on. And in fact, they know they can't play in your face. They can't play with you. They tried, but they know they can't. That's why they say, I know I messed up big time. I'm miserable without you. Some of you cut the person off because of these games they were playing. Your mind still, I don't care who comes along. You will always be special to me and I do anything for you. <sighs> yeah, they got caught in the act. Convicted, evidence, proof, exposed. They're trying to find their way out of this dark place. Commitment and teamwork. Some of you do work with this person. They see you as the perfect partner. Um, we got red bottoms here. This person is only loyal to financial gain, popularity, and superficial connections. I feel like this is their karmic. They could be with a Leo or an Aquarius. I want you to do what makes you happy. And that's you. You don't really, you're not stressing over this person. They underestimated your power and influence. You are a force they can't reckon with. Yeah, some of you have Leo placements. This person is all over the place. Scattered brain, head in the clouds. We already got a cloud nine here. They have lots of ideas, but none are solid plans. They're cynical and sarcastic, defensive, Easily baited, two-faced. I told you they run running back and forth between you and this other person. They're all talking, no action. Yeah, because they don't they don't know how to leave this other situation. Look, they brought this on themselves. I brought this on myself. You keep this person guessing. Some of y'all have um cancer placement. Some of y'all could be on the cancer, I mean the Gemini cancer cusp. This is the high priestess. You make moves in silence, you keep your mystery. Um, right now it's best for you to keep your play your cards close to your heart. No one needs to know your next move. Silence serves you best with this person. They are motivated to pursue you when you hold back and withdraw. What did I say? Either live up to your expectations or you're not interested and they know that. Wow. It says, our relationship traumatized me. I still have flashbacks of the times you hurt me. I wish I could just get over it and move on with my life. But so many things trigger me and keep me stuck. I have relationship PTSD. Gemini, this is your energy. This is the nine of swords. That could be how you feel. You could be in pain. That has something to do with the Libra. Third party situation. This person feels like they've embarrassed themselves. This person has a, a fetish, a kink. They get a kick out of drama. This person you're connected to or you may have a strong sexual desire or lust for an activity, body part, or a specific type of person they love to engage may be odd. Yeah, somebody does drama. Insecurities and fears paralyze this person. If at the time it wasn't right with bad timing being there and a little known secret came out, you know, look, they know, little known secret. Because it has something to do with... Um, a Libra, Christ, a Gemini, or a Leo. I'm going to start right there. And I'm going to get some tarot and a, mess, a couple messages from them. What is this mess? The lovers. That's you, Gemini. Now, this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate, and it also represents a choice. So let's see what the lovers is all about. A choice to follow your heart. Okay. Wow. Two of Pentacles juggling. Can't decide, weighing options, will of fortune. Yeah, fig trying to figure things out. Will of fortune is about figuring things out. It's about weighing options as well. So I'm feeling like this is tough because I'm getting the feeling that your person feels like they're stuck between two soulmates because this is a soulmate too. This is a soulmate. But it's like this Gemini energy, you are coming across as like a match made in heaven. Whereas this other person has a lot of emotional roller coaster ups and downs, topsy turvy, you know, never know what you're going to get. There's this unpredictable energy with this other person. 
but they're torn between you two. It could be a Capricorn. We also have Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Gemini here. Show me the lovers, this choice. They don't know how to make this choice, y'all. Ace of Wands. They're still sleeping with this person. They say they don't sleep in the same bed. They're lying. They're still sleeping with this person because... And, and they're also thinking about, you know, when they were with you physically, if they have been. But this is going to the past. This is looking at the past. And the wand is here, pointing to the lovers. I don't know. Maybe they think this person is there. They thought at least this person was there. Match made in heaven. Why are they confused? King of Cups. Because they can't figure out. They're trying to be logical, level-headed, and not caught up in their emotions. Could be a Scorpio. They're trying to figure out where their heart belongs. It's like they love sleeping with this other person, but I don't know. What did I just say? Where their heart belongs. And then the four of wands comes out, which talks about a sense of belonging. <sighs> they really are stuck. This could be an Aries. We got twin flame energy here. Now, twin flame trumps the uh, soulmate card. So this could be things being like topsy-turvy with you right now. This is a positive turning point. This is good karma. It's good news. It's all of that. It's luck. It's, you know, good fortune. <laughs> they feel lucky to have met you. They feel like they hit the jackpot, the lottery when they met you. And they see you as a twin flame, 11, 11. The four of wands is Aries energy. This could be someone in your community or you met in your community or at work or something like that. It's at the bottom of the deck. Seven of cups, wishful thinking. All they're doing is just thinking. Scorpio, Pisces, and then the five of pentacles, Taurus energy. They feel like they have to leave someone out in the cold, and this is what's hard for them. Yeah, look at this. Nine of swords, Gemini. Could be another Gemini. That's your energy, possibly. Some of you are not sleeping at night, or they're not. It looks like this person's kind of sitting up on the bed, not sleeping. Oh, Lord. Let's get some um messages and see if there's anything they want to say. Wow. I love you unconditionally. I feel like they're losing a lot of sleep over here. I look for you everywhere. You were the best thing in my life. And you came closer than anyone. So pulling them away from this other person. So this is still kind of in limbo. The hangman does represent limbo to me. There's an uncertainty. There's this unsure energy. Could be a Pisces. Or a Scorpio. All right, y'all. Wow. I am not available. It's at the bottom. I'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Peace, y'all.